You could say it took Antoine Westerman a long time to find religion. In 1970, at the age of 23, he opened his first restaurant, Le Beurezel, in Strasbourg. By the age of 28, he had his first Michelin star, and by 48, he had three. But then, in 2007, Westerman put all that behind him, moved to Paris, and opened Le Coq Rico, the bistro of beautiful birds. And when it comes to chicken worship, Westerman is the high priest. And last year, he brought his ministry here, to New York City's Flatiron District. So Antoine, tell me, what makes your birds different from regular chicken? First of all, the birds are the best birds I could find around New York. That's definitely not the chickens you find at the supermarket, which are too young. So if this is four or five weeks old, how old are these? This between 12 and 16, and uh, they have a long life. As in a really long life. The youngest chicken Westerman serves is 90 days old. This chicken here is called a barred rock, a breed that was popular in the 1940s. And that chicken way to the left isn't even a chicken. It's a 130-day-old guinea fowl. If supermarket chicken is Bud Light, and that's being unkind to Bud Light, Westerman's birds are like an aged cognac. This chicken has a taste. This has not a taste. Westerman learned the art of cooking heirloom poultry when he was a child, and he spent the last 50-odd years perfecting it. My, my father had a friend, and every Christmas, uh, the friend uh, cooked the, the turkey for my father. And he put always the turkey in bouillon, or uh, chicken stock. This moment when I saw I said myself, uh, and at this time I, I, I was not cook. I said, when one day, if I will be a cook, certainly I, I will use this uh, recipe. Tell me quickly, the poaching liquid, what is it? This is a uh, chicken stock. Just a simple chicken stock? Simple ch chicken stock. It might sound simple, but it's not. Westerman poaches each bird at only 175 degrees Fahrenheit for up to two hours. When you poach it, it makes the chicken more tender, more yeah. juicy. Sure, it's more juicy, more tender, and always the same, take time, slowly. Take time. Are you noticing a pattern here? Older chickens that grow slowly, slow poaching, and he isn't even done cooking yet. Okay, so chef, it's, the chicken's been poaching for one and a half hours. Are we ready to take it out? Now it's time. Okay. And now for the best part of all, the rotisserie, where that perfectly poached chicken turns and crackles for 40 minutes. These chickens are so good that customers take the leftover bones home with them so they can make chicken stock. There's something about a chicken, about the conviviality. It's like, like you were talking about a family meal. Why do you think that is? It's like a, there's a warmth to the chicken experience, you know? Yes, you know, yes, it's warm and what a, a chicken, when you have a steak, it's your steak, yes. If you have a, have a chicken, you share with uh, two, two persons, three or four persons. And this is not the same because you say, my friend, look, yeah. try this, this piece is the best one at the chicken. Ah, the animal is coming. And here it is. Look at that. So I can't tell you how excited I am right now. Thank you, Antoine. This is, start. this is a real experience. Thank you. Mmm, that is, it's just like the essence of chicken. It's just chickeny. It's well, it's more than chickeny. When you eat chicken in the Church of Chicken with the High Priest of Chicken, you come to know a whole new definition of the word chicken. It's flavor, yes, but it's also a feeling, a warmth, a happiness that travels from your mouth to your brain and then down into your heart. This, you think, is chicken. What's really good is putting the chicken jus on salad. I remember, I Mark, when I opened the restaurant before opening the, the, the six uh, first uh, months, I ate every day chicken. Can you imagine? And now I think it's, for me it's possible to eat, to eat chicken my whole life. Imagine six months of eating the world's most perfect chicken. What can I say? I'm jealous.